be a man post proposal. We're leaving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. Just not that memorable. I have to add this to you. Bopping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. This is so awesome. Never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. I mean, one, I'm not that sappy. Two, I was talking about men. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, are we going again tomorrow? Right here. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow, do you find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. OK, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time, smooth. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? OK, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute. Are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. A lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? OK, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and 
Sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. That's hey, oh. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting, are we? Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. I think so. Get me worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. If they were gonna kill us, they would have done it already. 
I'm not just worried about being killed. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. with him. Uh, did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Fuck, motherfuckers. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. What is it? They took my ring. Julia, it's okay. It's okay. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us.
seconds. The storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. What you doing, boy? Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, Orson. Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Olsen, come here. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian go? Just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Flitz has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? 
You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, yeah, so. Put a cork in it. <sighs> Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of bucks and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Move. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. 
The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Floating death trap. Sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. the 
hell is this fucking place? Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Yeah. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. Well, typically, a distributor cap is designed to distribute voltage from the coil to the correct rotor, which in turn... It's an essential part of the engine. We're not taking the Duke of Milan anywhere without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. This was ripped off. So, when we told you this would be a quick little adventure... Was there something in the small print? Hmm. Should we expect an itemized bill for all these, uh, extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 a day. <laughs> 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering? Hey! Look what I found over here. Get it open. Hey, come here. If we can bust it open, freedom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a bit like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead.
Stop! I'm the reason she got snagged. Yep, gotta get her. No way. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. <sighs> Shit. You're right. Dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no. I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound? Sure. So freaked out. It's okay. I'll protect you. Oh, this is nice. Why would they just abandon this place? Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. the distributor cap from the Duke? We should grab it. Our son. Yeah, go for it. Keep an eye out for me. Yo, Brad, come on, we gotta think this through, man. Oh my god, will you wait? Ok, qui est là Je vous ai entendu. 
Kira! Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Before Alex, have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys, we gotta keep moving. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. Gotta go through here. Chapels, not my scene, you know. You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. We gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? Hey. We got a name on this guy. What are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, A. Eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Is it even 
human? I mean, was it ever human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and... then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. What's the matter? Shh. <laughs> what is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get Fliss. No time to lose. <gasps> what the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Why so spick and span? What? Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Gone on ahead. Connie! Shh, shh, quiet. I can shout if I want. Connie! Where the hell did he go? Fucking place is cursed. Hmm. 
Look at this. What was that noise? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Olsen! Please, you don't have to do this. Jesus! <sighs> oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, you go stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. your friends go I don't know what the fuck this is all about but we got to keep moving and find Olsen now Olsen Merde Qu'est-ce que tu fais I'm sorry, I'm, 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 so, I'm sorry. Okay, first of all, how did you get past him? <coughs> Wait, how did you get here at all? I was trying to catch up to you, you know, save you or whatever. But then I heard some crazy shit and had to hide in the corner. I just want to get out of this hellhole and up to fresh air. 